I'm sure they hit a lot higher than what they show on their cut uh, pieces of paper. One player who does hit the ball very high, and the question of that is Isaac, and he's gone again through the middle to get the point and keep Sadder in the driving seat here. Yeah, and somewhere, somewhere they have to start making points. Uh, to Nova, because this three-point gap is not impossible, but we are coming, like I always said, after 16 is a different set. I'm a bit surprised that Elise Kova on the court. I found that Jan was spiking very good. So... I cannot really directly follow you while, while, while you're doing it. And I, I consider Jan also a very good, a decent to good blocker. As the points tick over now, we got to that position, Vital, that you like to talk about here, but, that from 16, this is where it means business, doesn't it? Yes, uh, this is a situation where, like, everybody knows, but if you have, like, three-point lead, you are pretty comfortable. I think what uh, Wallace is doing is very good, not putting too high pressure because you have this rotation now, and that's why I cannot follow. You have Kovar, who's spiking, they leave him, they can focus completely on Simon because you have Garcia on the back row, so, of course, everybody will focus on, on Simon. Uh, and the middle guy will really jump maximum. Yeah, the, the checker should play with Kovar against, uh, against the, the, the setter. Ha. That's well played, Balasso. Luca Rally gets a side out, caught Luquinho slightly by surprise. That was a lucky, lucky solution at the end. I would challenge this ball. I'm not so sure if the, the ball is completely played, if there was not a, a small part of the ball on the floor. But, uh, okay, I cannot. Tovar serve. And Kovar is doing now what Jan was also doing all the time, missing. Without that he even goes for a really full Okay, this set is only, it's less, it's only four surf mistakes or so, but it's still, it's still a high number. Checo on the chase. Mikarali, did he find some hands? Yes, he did. Yes. But th that is very good in this high balls, using his hands, Mikarali is so strong. And again, like so often I tell, looking for the third blocker in a tree block because that guy is mostly not so good placed. I think Simon knows it's his last chance. It's his last chance probably in serving to bring the team back. It's just not happened for him. If they come back, he has a chance to serve on 25. But in that way, somebody else has to make two or three points on a serve. Blocking substitution as in comes the towering 2 meters 11 Pingo. Cleddy Nielsen is on court. Oh, he's got a touch. They're looking for a touch and it has caught Rodriguinho as it goes out. I don't know what they're giving. Is there a challenge or not? No, it was a touch then. And it's just the, the hooter went because they've taken uh, Cleda Nielsen off and brought Fernando back on to serve. Yeah, to uh, rather to set up the offense, not to serve. It's all going right for Santa Cruzero at the yes, moment. So this is so important ball because it was not a difficult serve from the Checo. Tactically very good from him. Yeah, and then you have a three-block situation, and he's coming out with a, an amazing spike. Now Fernando gets to serve. Diamantini not going anywhere. But Don't we are in this chance. difficult first rotation. Oh, just brilliant! Nice play from... Kashopa. 
Uh, also, we have this difficult first rotation again with Diamantini spiking with Lucarelli on two, with Garcia on four. No pipe. So it's, um, it, it's a difficult one. Where will they go now? Lucarelli. And he gets it done. Chivitinova are definitely up against it here. I think this is a crucial one. Why? We have the first rotation from Sala Cruzeiro. If you want to make points, it has to be in this rotation. That ball couldn't have been any better from Luquinho. The height didn't matter. It was there in the middle of the court. Fernando could go where he wanted. He's gone to Rodriguinho. And he's what you have now, what you have now is that the next two rotations, set of six and five, are proper, normally the best spiking rotations. Yeah, it will be very hard for, for Chief to take points, and then you're already on 24, so I, I'm not looking so positive for Chief to at this moment. Garcia gets his timing wrong. But Rodriguino gets his angles wrong. Yes, of course, they get a bit too hot. The ball will go to Wallace. Ah, no, that's a surprise for me. I have played all this with Wallace. It's Lopez who gets the job done. It's all smiles for Santa Cruzero as they're getting closer and closer to the top of the podium. Yeah, I think they are very, very close now. Isaac with the serve. Well contained by Balasso. Oh, is it landed in? No, it's just gone the wrong side of the line. From Cruzera's point of view, a let off maybe here for Chifitinova. Look at the height that Lopez gets, it's incredible. It's hard to see, it's hard to see, but it's close to the line. I don't know, Garcia was not serving the whole day, but now, now we need him. Zaitsev in to block. Oh, he's got an and ace serve, Garcia. That's it. made things go very quiet here in the stadium. So the game is all over, it's still possible. One or two points more and it's still possible. I mean, and people who think that I'm supporting Civitanova, I just want to have a five-set match, that's all. Oh, an error for Wallace. We might be getting it. We might certainly get another set. That's so unlike Wallace. And sides have come in for the check or for the block. Wallace again. I mean, you, you have to trust your important and experienced guys. Oh, dear. We will never know it. We never will, will we? Garcia needed to get that one in. He snatched at it. It's now match point. Gold medal point for Sala Cruzeiro. And Wallace goes back to the serving line. Championship point here in Brazil. And Sotile is coming in. So they are keeping Zaitsev on. Sotile coming in for Garcia to set from the back row. And Jan does that, he keeps them in it for the moment. But still, there will be two big points to make. Jan serving, and he was like also not having his best serve match. So what is going in the mind of this guy is not so, it's not so easy. Oh, he's got an ace! Wow! That's brilliant! It's, I think it's his first ace today. And what a serve, what a good serve. I bet you have to give him. The guy has really has courage to go on. And now we see what's happening on this crucial ball. Can he do it again? No, he can't. It's all over. There was a moment, maybe, where Lube glimpsed a chance they could get back into it. But that door has been closed firmly. And it is Santa Cruzero who are the 2021 men's world club champions. And they've done it in front of the home fans. 
They've got revenge for their defeat in 2019 against Civitinova. And the celebrations begin in earnest because it's a straight sets victory for Santa Cruzero.